Ron Callen with the Standard TV and Appliance Stand Out of the Week, honoring local athletes who stand out. Standard TV and Appliance, family-owned, Oregon-based since 1947. My name is Tiara Pittman. I am from Lincoln High School, home of the Cardinals, and I run track. Tiara Pittman is a Lincoln junior and is also a state champion in the 300-meter hurdles. Everybody underestimated me from my um, from what I did in the prelims. I didn't run a very good time in the prelims. TR crossed the finish line at Hayward Field and then... Everything just stopped. I felt like the world stopped. I felt like the crowd was silent. And I looked up at the board and I just started crying. I didn't know what to do. It was the fastest time in the 300 hurdles in five years in Oregon. It's very exciting. I'm looking forward to breaking the state record, hopefully. Um, I'm less than a second off, so it's pretty close. And after high school, more track and... My dream is to go to Stanford. Um, I visited in March and I loved it. Um... I want to be an orthodontist eventually, so I want to go to dental school. Congratulations and good luck to Tiara Pittman of Lincoln High, our standard standout of the week. The Outstanding Student of the Week. Can you attend my class? Brought to you by your Les Schwab Tire Center. Normally we have our Les Schwab Student of the Week on Wednesdays, but our Student of the Week was busy playing a baseball game, for gosh sakes. They could have canceled the game, but no, why Why should they when uh, uh, they had more important things to do? But it's really great to have Carson Kelly, our student of the week from Westview High School, right-handed pitcher for the Westview baseball team in studio. Carson, congratulations. Thank you very much. And he brought his buddy in, C.J. Garcia, yeah, that's me. who is his catcher. <laughs> so uh, before we talk to Carson, C.J., what kind of pitcher is Carson? Bring it and get yourself close to that All mic right. there. Uh, what kind of pitcher is Carson? Um, you know... All these pitchers have all these kinds of pitches. Carson's got a fastball, curveball, changeup. Um, he likes to come inside, go outside. He hits his spots almost every single time. <laughs> and he doesn't really, you know, pitchers go, oh, I want to throw a curveball this pitch. I want to throw this. I want to throw that. He throws whatever the coach says every single time, and he knows the game plan of each, each hitter, and, and he gets the job done almost every single game. So he's never shaking you off? No. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's talk about... Um, Okay, you said he has a changeup and a fastball. What's the what's the speed differential between those two? You know, I might be a couple, you know, miles an hour off, but I don't know. Ninety two fastball around. Wow. Probably I don't know eighty eighty three changeup probably eighty eighty some movement on it. Know, Just depends. Yeah. Well, listen, um, uh, I want to ask more questions, CJ, but let's welcome in Carson's coach, uh, Steve Antich, is on the phone. Steve, thanks for calling in. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So I asked CJ about uh, what kind of pitcher Carson Kelly is. You tell me. Well, I heard uh, CJ did a pretty good job. I was listening there to the last bit. I mean, he just competes. He's seasoned. I mean, he has a good fastball. He has a good idea and a good plan and, and is able to execute it. His, his changeup makes his fastball even more impressive, and uh, he has a nice breaking point to, uh, to uh, finish up his repertoire. Well, Steve, you've seen a lot of guys, uh, you know, come up from their freshman year and maybe even before that when you recruit or watch these guys uh, in, in middle school and play for summer league teams. When did you get an idea that Carson had some skills? Well, Carson uh, came to our youth camp uh, a few years before reaching high school, and it was obvious that he was a special baseball player and, you know, um, well ahead of his, his age. And, you know, people forget that he's, he's young you know, even for a senior, he's very young. Uh, he looks like a, you know, he's 23, but uh, <laughs> you know, he uh, he works hard, and and you could see it in him. That first year, we had a real strong club. We didn't have and didn't want to put huge expectations on him, but uh, you know, he got in a bat here or there, and before you know it, he was uh, our cleanup hitter and and first team all league in the Metro and uh, Metro champ. Steve Antich is the coach of Westview's high school baseball team. Steve, um, how good is this team this year? How far can this team go? I mean, I really like our guys. I think when we play together, uh, we can beat anybody. You know, um, they're, they're a better team than the team that we took to the state championship game, I think, and, and uh, it was 06. And, you know, uh, I think guys are, are hitting the rhythm at the right time. And, you know, I think we're as good as anybody in the state. We just need to go out there and play. And, uh, hope for the best. And I know you got a meeting to go to real quick before we let you go. H- how does it help the fact that Carson and his uh, battery mate catcher CJ Garcia are such good buddies? How does that help as far as just the, a nuance, as far as one of the intangibles? 
I mean, it's huge, you know, and it's not just those guys. We, we have, uh, you know, our whole team's real close. They have each other's back. You know, they enjoy playing together and coming out and practicing together and, and spending time off the field together. But uh, CJ and Carson, they're the heart and soul, you know, of our senior leadership. And, uh, you know, if they have a good tournament, I, I have no doubt we will as well. No well, pressure. No, no pressure. Hey, <laughs> oh. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> Coach, thanks for calling in. And uh, hey, congratulations on one of your players getting Les Schwab Student of the Week. Thanks so much. Congratulations to Carson, and I appreciate that you guys having me on.